20% of the calories that we consume come from, from wheat-based um, products. I want to have this planet on to uh, my kids in a better state than kind of it is now. And, uh, so, a toolbox available to the farmer to manage the, the problems that he's uh, experiencing is under pressure. the use of technology now on wheat, we're probably down to eight years. And spring barley, we're maybe even down at four to six years um, with the use of um, different um, techniques. So it's not just about um, not just about the observations, it's utilizing all the technology and starting to be able to predict what different combinations. So you would expect to see a similar level of heterosis that you would experience uh, uh, and farmers have experienced mm. with, um, with hybrid barley, for yeah. example. But I think it's not all about yield. And you know we've done quite a bit of market research over the last couple of years to, to get under the skin of this. And, and yield stability is really coming out as an important characteristic for farmers to take risk out of production. Um, and, and climate and environmental changes are having an impact in terms of that, uh, the reason for that. So, you know, if you look um, this year, we've seen in France the highest temperatures ever recorded in France this okay. year. In the US, we had the biggest floods mm. ever recorded in the US. Mm. To, to flowering. So it's, it's perfect conditions in there for. Uh, uh, These are the, uh, this is the material when it comes out of tissue culture. It's a bit bad with the compensation. <laughs> comes from how you actually use the product, so when do you apply it, how do you apply it, uh, that kind of thing. And if we look at some of the key, the key aspects of, of, of um, what gives you that other 50% control, there's the timing piece. So getting a product on at the optimum timing is really, really important. Um, it's much better to be preventative with a disease, for example, than uh, a curative. And the thing that impacts timing is weather essentially. Weather has a big, big impact on when you can get out and spray your fields uh, and control your pest, weed and disease. So timing is the first piece. The second bit is the mechanical aspect. So how do you actually use the machinery technology that you've got? How do you set your sprayer up? What forward speeds do you drive at? What boom heights do you use? What water volumes do you apply? And so that has a big impact on how effectively uh, the product works um, and controls again that weed pest and disease. So we'll start with this is a, a flat band nozzle. The flat band nozzle has been sort of the uh, mainstay of how you apply crop protection products for, well, I guess 30, 30 plus years. Um, it creates a lovely fine spray and you can apply the band by using nozzle technology and coming back to that day frails with every percentage as done. Um, and it, and it's giving, it was giving us a ton of hectare better control uh, in this year.
See, as I add this one to water, I'm already starting to get a better um, dispersion of my oil in the water. And as I shake it, so I'm not giving it much. 